core part of the CI, right? CI process. So what typically happens uh, in a CI process, right? As I said, you know, a developer uh, who is working on a feature commits a code, right? And uh, once he commits the code, whether it's a front-end code or a back-end code or may any anything that he commits, the particular uh, code is picked up and there's a build uh, process. And the build process, depending on the platform, there's a corresponding tool used to build the code and then it would go ahead and <clears throat> generate the, uh, the the output file for based on the build. If something goes wrong in the build, example, you have a wrong code and code is not building, then it will fail the CI process and, and intimate the team that the build has failed and whoever, whoever is a developer, they'll have to fix the code to move ahead. Now, once the build is successful, it will go ahead and run all the unit test cases that you developed. It would generate a report of number of failed and passed test cases, including what is known as a code coverage. Code coverage is you know, if you have 100 lines of code, how much of those lines are tested as part of your uh, unit test cases? If unit test cases execute 80, 80 lines out of your 100 lines, your coverage is 80%. So it genders these reports with respect to pass fail ratio, and then also it generates a unit test coverage report. And then, and then you know, once unit test cases are all unit case, test cases are passed, there are some process where the code can be reviewed. The code quality, your naming conventions, and uh, standard coding standards are validated automatically using various tools and frameworks. And then there's a report generated to know how how the new code has uh, with respect to code quality. Once your build unit test case code review, everything is a pass then you have the final output, which is a package, which generates a package and save it as an artifact for future reference. Now, as I said, you know, an artifact can be an output from your build, unit test cases, code review, or, or the final step of generating the package itself. So anything that you want to share to an external world or external process, uh, is you have to convert, your, you have to save that as an artifact for a future access or reference. So, so this is, you know, uh, uh, a very basic CI process that, that you will see uh, or you need to have even before thinking of having any, any additional features or advanced uh, ideas, right? So this is a, a CI process and, 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 and uh, we'll, we'll try to cover tools and various things that various processes or tools that we can use, but you know, this is a, high level understanding or what you need to know about a CI process. Now, uh, I said the output of a CI is generally an artifact, an artifact which can be deployed or, or uh, deployed to a server or deployed to, to run the application and verify and start using the application. So, uh, so any questions here in the CI process? Anything that uh, anybody have questions? Yeah, uh, one question. So, yeah. Uh, under the build, you, you put as artifacts, right? And and the under the build, you put as Docker. So what do you mean by Docker? If you're you're publishing the Docker image, or you're going yes. to run the build. So yeah, in case generally, uh, you know, a build uh, generates the output, uh, which is uh, which is you know deployable to a server, right? If you are using a Docker uh, image, uh, sorry, Docker file, right? If you are uh, using that, the output of a build will be the Docker image. Right, so that is what here I mean. Docker image, which which is then uploaded to your as an artifact, which can be used in the deployment phase. Okay, uh, so yeah, so that's uh, that's the build, and and you know uh, similarly, you know other process also generates an artifact. Now again, uh, now this is a you know a, a standard or, or a very typical way. Now uh, 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 depending on your uh, application, depending on your tech stack. The steps may change or maybe additional steps for the tech stack, but you know, uh, generally they are grouped under each of these, uh, right? As I said, you know, as the question was there, sometimes we do a build and then in 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 the, in the packaging step we may create an image, right? So or in some cases uh, the build itself is generated in Docker image. So it depends on your uh, application and how both are fine, both are correct and both will work, but you know it depends on your uh, structure and the code.